Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, I wanted to do a follow-up on Screen Pro Tech. If you're not familiar with them, they are the folks that make the covers for your radio screen, you know, that touch screen that always gets fingerprints all over it and scratched and ruined, as well as the gauge cluster and then the little shifter, shiny piano finished area down by your shifter. A little while back, I put all three pieces in my Tacoma, and it is awesome. Now, real quick, I'm going to show you guys. I'll put a real quick high-speed blurb as to how you install these. It's going to be real quick. Take a look. You just fill this up with warm water. Clean off the screen. We're going to spray it again per the directions. Spray the back of the film liberally. So you want to make sure you get enough on here that it's nice and damp if you will place it on there correctly now we want to mist your squeegee a little bit so that it glides effortlessly so you want to go ahead start in the center go right and then go left pushing out the solution as much as you can get out of course but look at that that looks better already and it isn't even dried yet wow now, you can see the install is pretty darn simple. Shouldn't take more than just a few minutes to get all three of these things on. But let's take a look at them and see how they're doing now after being in the truck for a couple of months. First of all, I'll do it with the lights off. You guys can see what it looks like. Look how clean and crisp that is. You can see the light gleaming off of it. Looks really good on the gauge cluster. Over here at the radio, look at that awesome. I mean, you can see me in it. Love it. Down here in the gauge cluster, you can see, or the center console area, I have the piece down here covering this piano finished area. And you know the problem with the material Toyota uses down here is it always gets scratched. You know, fingernails and stuff when you're reaching for things down here. Notice, you don't see any scratches or anything down here on mine. Just awesome. Now, let's go ahead. I'm going to fire up the truck so you can see it all lit up. Let's get the lights on so you can see that. There you go. There's what the gauge cluster looks like with everything all lit up. Nice, clean, crisp view through the gauge cluster. It's one of the things that I like about this the most. It just gives you the best look that you can get while protecting the gauge cluster itself. You know, one of the biggest complaints that I've heard out there about the gauge cluster in the Tacoma is how easily it scratches. And I always used to worry about that myself. When I'd grab a rag and go to wipe that off because it's a dust magnet, I'd always worry about putting those little fine scratches in that gauge cluster area. I don't have to worry about that anymore because the Protect material protects the gauge cluster plastic. Now, let's take a look at the radio. Look how nice and crisp that looks. Again, you can still even see me in there, even with it all lit up. The nice thing about this, not so much scratches for me, but it's the fingerprints that you get all over it. That used to drive me nuts. When the screen is black, let's go ahead and turn the truck off again. When the screen is black, you'd see all those fingerprints and things all over the place because it is a touch screen. You know, you have to touch it to make it work. I don't have that anymore. I love that. Let's crank the truck back on. We're gonna go down here and look at this little piano finished area. This probably is my second favorite part of the whole uh, three, I guess, because this would always get scratches in it in my previous trucks. And for some reason, it always had fingerprints on it. I don't know why. It's not like I drive around and am constantly fingering this area, putting my finger all over it. But still, I always had fingerprints on there. Not anymore. It looks pretty darn good. Anyway, I just wanted to get on, kind of give an update to this. I like to give updates as to how mods and things are doing and rather, really whether they're worth the money or not. This is a simple, good one to get. Definitely worth the cost. And by the way, there is a link down below. If you click that link, buy these for yourself. You can save 5%. Not too bad for a product that doesn't cost a fortune anyway and does such a great job on the truck. Leave a comment. Let me know. If you've gotten this in the past, how's it doing for you and are you happy with it? I'd be curious to know. 
Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. My Driven, all about my new, to me, Honda Civic six-speed manual transmission. It's a coupe, by the way. Love that car. And Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here, too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye. What's he doing?